Hey, welcome to BruceBow.com. Hey, we're talking about Open Door, another one of those cash buyers. And if you got questions about whether it might be a good idea for you, you're going to want to watch this video. So Open Door, they're big, doing a lot of business, doing a lot of advertising in Metro Atlanta, North Metro, where we're working. And so we've done business with them like we have with some of the other cash buyers representing clients and helping them go through the process. And so one of them we just closed uh, a couple days ago. So we're going to show you some of the information related to that. And uh, so we blocked out the specific address, but you can see here that at the very top, of course, that was the highlighted number when we signed up. But Open Door offered 409900 for the home, which was a kind of a high offer. Um, but from there, like some of the other companies, they take off a fee. I don't, they call it different things. What it really goes to doesn't make much sense to many people, but basically it's to make it look like they're offering you more money. And then they took another 20500 approximately out as their 5% fee. Uh, in addition to that, there was a repairs adjustment for repairs that needed to be done or that they suggest needed to be done of 14737 So you could see in this particular property, the net to the seller was $374,668. So that's a big stretch from 410 to 375, right? That's a big chunk. So all of these companies are doing things similar to that. So that they make that initial offer look really good to you because they feel like if they can get you to make the first yes, then it's easier for them to just keep taking a little bit more money away and, and that you're not gonna run away from the deal. So they are a cash buyer. They're not like the we buy ugly houses and some of these individuals that are kind of buying and flipping houses, but they do actually flip the houses because the other technique is some companies will literally just buy the house for the purpose of reselling it to another person and they'll literally resell your house before they've even bought it, okay? There's companies that do that. They're generally referred to as wholesalers. They're really just selling the piece of paper. They're reselling that contract to another buyer, another investor. So what about the cons? There are some cons for sure, like, like always. Now, one of them is the fact that they take the 5% fee. So that's not a surprise. All the cash buyer companies do that and it helps them really just to make it look like they're giving you more money than they're really giving you. Also, it allows them to record on the land records that they paid that higher price for the house when really they didn't pay that much, but they could put that down as the sales price um, so that it looks like uh, they're not marking the house up as much for the next buyer. Um, another con uh, is that they can cancel at any time. And I find that to be really big and somewhat unnerving, right? Because if you're doing one of these things, you're counting on that money to come through. That's the whole idea of cash buyer is you feel like it's a guaranteed deal and it's going to go through. Well, they do reserve the right to cancel at any time up to the sale. So you want to talk to your realtor to see what the market conditions are, what the options are. But... That's just something to consider. The other con, again, similar to this one is more similar to the other companies, and that is the repairs. The fact that they're always gonna come asking for some kind of repair adjustment to make it sound like you don't have to fix up your house. Well, yes, maybe you don't have to fix it up, but they're charging you for it, which I think most people understand that that's gonna be the case, but some of these numbers could be pretty big when they're taking out 15,000, 20,000 for repairs. It's going to vary by company and company and uh, from house to house and what companies, how serious they are about buying that particular house at that particular time. And that's why it's good to have an agent to help you kind of negotiate and navigate through. Also for cons was the fact that in particular with Open Door, they made the, this particular seller leave every appliance so washer and dryers things like that that people plan on normally bringing had to stay so that's 
Now we did an offer pad deal just a short time before and an offer pad, they forced the, my seller to take the washer and dryer with them. So, you know, again, these things vary from one place to the other and who knows, in two months from now, Open Door may be saying, oh, we don't want washers and dryers anymore. We don't really know, but it was a con in this particular case um, because it was something else that my seller had to go and buy for their new home. The, the pros with Open Door are they do a larger area and a larger price range than some of the other companies. So your house is more likely to fall in their categories. Um, again, these things are all subject to change and they do change based on the market conditions and what, they've, what they're able to get a hold of and what they aren't able to get a hold of. So I don't wanna give specific details because it's probably different today uh, than it was last month. But Open Door does do more homes, more areas. Um, the unique thing about Open Door is that you can cancel at any time. So they'll give you up to three months to stay in the house before the closing, uh, and even an additional week after the closing at no charge. Uh, but um, during that entire period of the three months, they reserve the right to cancel with no penalty. Now that is a big pro if you decide to cancel, but it could be a big con if you're counting on them buying your house and they cancel, right? So that's a that's a big one to consider. Now, because we feel like they wanted to buy this house, they're gonna close the transaction we went with open door in this particular transaction. But it is true that that risk was always there that they could have backed, they meaning open door, could have backed out of the transaction. Now my seller could have backed out too, so that's a pro, but the con is what if open door backs out at the last minute. We saw how the Zillow and their cash offers thing went under because they couldn't deal with it. And they got stuck with some inventory and they tried to back out of deals and stuff. Open door is protecting themselves, allowing themselves to get out of the deal at any time. So that's pro and a con because it kind of cuts both ways. Uh, they will do a quick close or they'll let you stay for three months. Uh, it, the seven days after closing, rent free is a big plus uh, for a lot of people because they want to get that cash before they move so they can pay for movers, they can pay for the new place, you know, whatever the transition, whatever the next uh, season of life is going to bring them. So that is a pretty good plus. Uh, in order to protect themselves, they hold $2,000 in escrow in case there's any damage to the house when you move out if you're not moved out at the day of closing you know that's pretty reasonable that's not a ton of money so that's not a bad deal at all um one of the pros and again this is likely subject to change i believe it is related to covid but their repairs inspection that we looked at up here that came up with fourteen thousand dollars they only inspected the home from the outside. So they just walked around the outside of the house and that's where they came up with that number. So that could be a pro or a con depending on your house, um, but it feels to me like it's not a very good inspection and not, they're not doing a good job of protecting themselves. So in some homes, that might be a big plus. For us, if we represent you in a cash offer deal, of course you get a discount, so like a full listing fee, and it's gonna vary based on not only your house and the timing and the location and the condition, but it's also gonna vary on what the companies are doing for incentives to the realtors. Because if Open Door is giving a big incentive to realtors, then of course we can charge you less. And so that's why it's gonna be different on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, and certainly those things change from month to month with these companies as they try to work out what's the best deal for them. And so we can't know in advance what they're going to be and, and commit to a certain pricing schedule.